What's going on, y'all? My name is Joltage, and today I'm bringing you yet more LC action from SPL7, this time between Zoroark Forever of the Falcons and Zorodark of the Bigs. Um, I'm going to start off by saying sorry I couldn't get this one live. I have, I missed every single else I missed every single game this week. Um, for one reason or another, I've been really busy. Um, and kind of got unlucky with catching some of them, but um, yeah. So I'm about to record the three matches. I'm uh, the last three matches of the week, even though they've already happened. So you've probably seen the replays by now, but you know, you haven't seen them with my voice accompanying them. Um, but anyway, uh, heading into this week, ZF uh, was uh, is three and one. <laughs> And uh, Zorodark is 1-3. in three. Zorodark is coming off a pretty solid win, f uh, from what I understand. I actually haven't seen the game because the replay was broken. Uh, but a pretty solid win against Madoka. And uh, it's coming and now has um, newfound, and now has some new support in uh, Skin, who was picked up during mid-seasons uh, to help him out with his builds and testing and stuff. And... Uh, we see a pretty, uh, I don't know, it kind of looks like a haste up -y team from Zoro Dark. Um, I say that because there's an Onyx, and I know haste up is like the best player that actually uses Onyx um, a lot. So, um, but yeah, Houndour is also a really cool mon you don't see a whole lot. And then the rest of it's just standard bulky offense. Um, over at Z uh, ZF side, we've got Zigzagoon making its first appearance of SPL. Um, Zigzagoon is super threatening a lot of times, and it just this pretty much looks like a pretty standard Ziggy team. We've got more Drifloon. Um, we've got uh, Cottony to provide uh, Memento support and uh, just Encore for other setup opportunities. Diglett to be Diglett and, you know, uh, potential Memento support there as well. The Diglett probably, and this Diglett um, could be carrying rocks, uh, or it could be like... Um, or it could be on Pawn, though. Um, I kind of see more Rocks of Diglett on ZF's team for some reason. Uh, but who knows? Um, I actually haven't watched this game yet. But um, And then, you know, Floon, Ponyta. Pretty standard stuff from both sides. Um, but uh, let's hop right into it, shall we? Alright, so first turn we've got Lead Cottony from Zor from ZF and Lead Timber from Zordark. Zordark obviously is not in the favored matchup there, so ZF fires off a free knockoff, making the incoming Fungus lose its Eviolite. Um, ZF hards to Drifloon knowing that Cottony probably wouldn't go for the Spore there. I mean, um, <laughs> Fungus probably wouldn't go for the Spore there, and Drifloon gets poisoned. I mean, that means it can't get Spored, but... Um, that still hurt its longevity, I guess. Um, though it could also be useful. But anyway, um, <laughs> ZF, let me pause. ZF, on turn three, um, ZF went Diglett on a double, uh, predicting whatever switch as Zoradark went Staryu. Um, ZF obviously doesn't like that matchup, so he goes out to Cottony as Staryu Scalds, and now we're caught up again. And, uh, Next turn, uh, Star you switched out for Fungus as ZF uh, again doubles into Drifloon. Drifloon gets to fire off a pretty free wrist wisp, but it just goes for the unpowered up acrobatics there. Um, poison damage takes it into its berry juice range, and now it is full power acrobatics and um, generally and uh, back at full uh, acro does just under half so the star you can effectively recover off um, the acros from f uh, this Drifloon as Drifloon misses Will-O-Wisp on that turn um, which is unfortunate and then gets crit via Scald um, so this Drifloon's not uh, <laughs> going it's not going Drifloon's way right now um, it has to sit here and recover, I mean, recycle to, uh, on this Staryu as it finally gets off this Will-O-Wisp. Um, and Staryu's gonna hit it with the Scald. Flume can still, uh, just, uh, recycle. Now, Flume can pretty easily recycle, um, stall this 
Staryu until Staryu has to um, recover itself and then can fire off a full power acro. So Floon doing Floon stuff as it stalls. Um, actually, uh, Zorodark is going to switch out his Staryu now for his Hound Hour. Um, Hound Hour can't be Wisped, so this is pretty cool as uh, ZF switches out his uh, Drifloon for Ponyta, who takes the Morning Sun pretty well. It's not uh, Life Orb Hound Hour, so, uh, and it reveals the Nasty Plot, so it might be uh, Evio Hound Hour, could be Sash as well. It's, it's going to go right for the Dark Pulse and uh, do enough to 2 it KO the Cottony. Um, but uh, Cottony, okay, um, Cottony tried to Encore the Hound Hour. Uh, into Dark Pulse to maybe set up a pawn uh, thing, but uh, Zorodark switched out for Fungus, um, who fired off a Sludge Bomb into the uh, Drifloon as Drifloon um, recycles once more and is back at full again. Uh, switches out here as ZF goes. Cottony, who is crit by the Dark Pulse, and Cottony goes down. Um, Cottony would have been two it KO'd, but. Uh, it could have also like encored potentially. Uh, Hound Hour here reveals the Sucker Punch, as uh, it takes Diglett down a lot, but um, Diglett's able to survive and uh, take it out with the Earthquake. This was Sash Diglett, by the way, um, so it probably was Rocks. But uh, Zordark pursuits with his Scarf Pawn, um, which is good for him because now Diglett can't be any more annoying. So both of uh, both of Zigzagoon's uh, Memento uh, Mons are uh, gone now, so that's really good for Zorodark as it's uh, Star UV Drifloon here. As Star U switches out for Onyx, who is a pretty decent Drifloon stop, um, though Onyx is now burned, so that's not great for it. Um, ZF switches out for Ponyard, expecting the Rock Blast, uh, but I guess, but. Um, Zordark sets his rocks, and late game rocks would be nice. Uh, Ponyard goes for knockoff as Fungus comes in. Um, and ZF switches out for his Drifloon, who's doing more Drifloon stuff. Uh, to dodge the Spore, um, Drifloon's at full again, well, basically, after it takes the poison damage. Um, in comes Onyx as Drifloon recycles. And, uh, ZF's going to switch out for his Ponyard once again, as this time the Onyx is going to go for the Rock Blast, and it's doing nothing to Ponyard, even the crit did <laughs> one damage. Um, so Onyx is going to switch out here into into his own Ponyard. He goes to get knocked off. It was Scarf Pawn, because Scarf Pawn is the only Pawn that runs that commonly runs Pursuit. Um, and knowing it's Scarf Pond, it probably has Brick Break, so ZF's not going to want to stick around. So he goes out to his Ponyta, uh, who eats a knockoff and doesn't burn uh, his Ponyard. Um, anyway, Flame Charge Pony is revealed. Flame Charge Pony typically doesn't run Wild Charge, which would actually be really threatening. So I want you to run a fully offensive uh, Pony. But um, ZF tries to Morning Sun on the uh, Star U, but uh, Scald takes it out. Uh, Zigzagoon is in, and ZF's going for the belly drum here. He's going for game, I guess, as uh, in comes Fungus, who dies to the E-speed. Um, got Timber here. I don't know if... Uh, uh, for some reason, ZF did not click... Uh, did not click E-speed. Uh, I don't know if it was a misclick or anything, but... Um, Zigzagoon dies there, and uh, now Floon's back in on the timber. Uh, Zorodark switches out his timber for Onyx, who is a pretty solid Floon answer. Um, as Onyx finally gets it, it's berry juice and is back up to full, though the burn damage takes it out of sturdy range. Um, Onyx is going to fire off an earthquake, predicting the Pawniard to come in, uh, as Floon just stayed in to recycle. Um, now ZF switches out for the pawn as the Zorodark goes for the Rock Blast, which misses. Not that it was doing anything, as we saw from earlier damage. Um, pawn goes for uh, ZF's pawn goes for pursuit there and doesn't get l and doesn't uh, actually end up working out for him as um, earthquake an earthquake crit is able to take out the pawn. Okay, freaking 
ZF ruining what I said earlier by saying uh, pawns, uh, Scarf Pawn is the only pawn that runs Pursuit. But um, now Onyx is going to taunt the Drifloon so it can't do any more Recycle stuff. It has to run it has to go for acrobatics as uh, Onyx is going to miss a Rock Blast, which is unfortunate. Um, that would have done a very solid amount of damage there, but um, the Drifloon is still pretty much locked into acrobatics here as Zordark goes Pawn, uh, gets crit, but he still lives, and it's able to take out the Floon with the knockoff. GG, um, Zordark picks up the victory and is going to improve to 2-3, and three, and, Zoro and ZF is going to fall to... Um, three and two freaking annoying to say both of these guys name but good job well played to Zoro Dark uh, especially it was really a uh, solid performance and he was able to pick up the victory um, confused by the fact that ZF didn't click e-speed on timber there um, I assume probably was a misclick because there's no other reason not there's no reason to not click that in that case right um, but anyway uh, it happens and uh, yeah Good games to both. Not uh, good game to both. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, comment with any feedback you have, and uh, stay subscribed for more competitive LC content, including every single LC game this SPL. My name has been Joltage, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.